All right, guys, now we're going into the next step, uh, which is the transport uh, management, uh, TMS. And TMS is a two-stage process. So I'll show you. Now let's just log in quickly. As you can see, because of the profile changes we did in the last video, it's showing client 800, uh, which is the default client that we want because it's an IDAS machine. But since we're still configuring it, I'm going into 000 DDIC as a user. Okay, and um, SE06 is a transport organizer uh, uh, T code, which means this is the step you do before you do the TMS. Um, system change option means do you want to change the system parameters? You know, uh, you can change this modify file to restrict it. You know, no one can change it. You know, ECC, uh, since it's an IDAS version, you can convert this machine into. Um, into uh, any of the um, IS functions, you know, you can turn on uh, certain functionality, but you can't go back. See, IS public sector. If you modify this, you can't go back to the the standard setting. So uh, we can restrict this before we modify. That's called the system change option. Once you set the parameters here, you can't go back, or nobody else can change the machine. But we're going to leave it as modifiable because uh, it doesn't really matter for us. And I'm going to do a standard installation. It is not a database copy. We're not migrating. It's just a standard system, and leave all the change option as modifiable. Because at some point in this video, I'll show you how to convert this machine into IS utilities or IS oil or some other industry solution where we activate the uh, contract AR, contract AP. You know, once you activate these functions, you can't go back to the standard uh, set of uh, uh, business functions. So uh, that's that's where the system change option comes in. So we're going to leave it as it is and we're going to perform a uh, thing for a single system. So this is a single system. We don't have PRD uh, development or QA or any of that stuff. It's a single system. So we're going to go with S, process, process and config. Now, we, now it says configure your TMS, right? So now, now we go into All right, so this is the standard system configuration. Again, it is um, a standard system. We're not doing any changes to it. Uh, it's a single system. Okay, just save the current configuration as the, I'm gonna use my own password. This is for TMS ADM. All right, so here you can see that the TMS has been now configured. You can see the import overview number of, you can see here, no zero request waiting. It's a it's an over, you can see the routes here, transport routes. Again, single system, okay. And uh, yeah, so these, this is the transport monitor. You can do a job overview. If you're having a transport process going on, it will show up over here. Right, so this is where uh, this is the transport uh, system, and we've configured the STMS. So, if um, oops, if you have the maintenance certificate installed, now you can import the support pack manager and uh, the Saint slash. This is the spam. This is the add-on installation. So these two things becomes active now. So. Uh, once the transport is set up. If you don't have the TMS set up, these functions will not work. Okay? So that's that's the TMS setup. And in the next pro in the next uh, configuration we will be going into kernel upgrade the hardware. I'll see you in the next step.